So, most of the iPhone 3G out there are running iOS 4.2.1. However, my iPhone 3G, as you can see right here, it's running iOS 3.1.3. In this video, I will show you how to downgrade an iPhone 3G from iOS 4.2.1 to 3.1.3. And let's get started. So, these are things that you need to have to do the downgrade on your iPhone 3G. You need a computer that runs Windows 7, 8, 8.1, 10, or 11, 30-pin to USB-A cable, a SIM card that's mini SIM size. It doesn't really matter if it's active or inactive as long your iPhone 3G is able to detect the SIM card and an iPhone 3G obviously. So let's get started. Alright, so I decided to use Windows 7 for this downgrade. This doesn't really matter that much because you can do this downgrade on Windows 7, 8, 8.1, 10, and Windows 11. First of all, what you need to do is go to the Google Drive link which I I have it in the description below so you should see this folder right here it should be called iphone 3g ios 3.1.3 downgrade by the avenue so download all of them this will take some time because it's google server site pretty much so you gotta wait for the zip file to be downloaded first Alright, as you can see, it's done downloading. So what you need to do is go to the place where you save the download. So in my case, I have it right here, the downloads folder. So as you can see, it's still in the zip file. What you need to do is extract everything pretty much. Alright, it's done extracting. So here's the folder. And as you can see, there are a couple of files right here. So that's the iTunes 12.10.11. For the 3 tools, you need to use this version, version 2.56. That's the later version of 3 tools, but this is the only version that you can do this on. These are the IPSW 3.1.3, 4.2.1, in case if you want to go back to iOS 4. And the note from me. By the way, the note is pretty much if I were to update anything, you can read it from here. So this version of iTunes is 12.10.11 which is pretty much the latest version for Windows 7 and 8.1. You can use this iTunes on Windows 10 and 11. If you have the newer version of iTunes as long as the EXE version, this should work just fine. In addition, if you're on Windows 10 or 11 and you have the iTunes from the Microsoft Store, I would highly recommend using the EXE version which I have it right here. Just for the better compatibility pretty much, I put the installer right here in case if you don't have iTunes on your computer. And also I have the 32-bit and 64-bit version. If you have the 32-bit version of Windows, obviously you see 32-bit and if you have the 64-bit version of Windows, you see 64-bit. If you already have iTunes installed, you can skip to this part right here. I'll show you the installation for the iTunes. So as you can see, I'm doing the installation right now. Alright, so just hit next and as you can see there are a couple of installation options. So add iTunes shortcut to my desktop, which is what I prefer. And use iTunes as the default player for audio files, which I actually do not want to have it. It's up to you pretty much for this one. So just hit install. When this showed up, just hit yes. And again, that pop-up might show a couple of times, so just hit yes, pretty much. Alright, it's done installing, so hit finish. And it says that you need to restart your computer. I would highly recommend restart it. There you go, that's the iTunes installation. Next up, go back to where you save your download. In my case, um, again, I save it right here. Alright, so you need to install 3 tools version 2.56. It shows this pop up. You need to hit yes and just hit install. Alright, it's done installing. Make sure the desktop shortcut is checked if you prefer to have it here and just hit launch. And there you go, 3 tools version 2.56 is done installing. Oh, by the way, when this pops out, just hit later pretty much. Alright, before I show you the downgrade, here's my iPhone 3G right here. And as you can see, this is the 3G because the grey text instead of the chrome text on the iPhone 3GS. And you can see iOS 4 right here. And if I go to general and about in the settings, and you can see this thing is really slow. And there you go, 4.2.1. Alright, so what you need to do is hit this, close iTunes. So iTunes is only used pretty much for the computer to talk to the iPhone. Next up, connect your iPhone to your computer. 
this pop-up shows up, you can hit this not prompt if you don't want this to pop up every time. So what you need to do next, which is go to flash and jailbreak right here on the top. And you can see there are a couple of versions of iOS that it shows in the list. Of the one that I tested, only 4.2.1 and 3.1.3 that works. So next up, click import right here and go to where you save your file. In my case, I have it in my downloads folder. So select 3.1.3. So click this, the blue dot make sure it's next to 3.113. Click quick flash mode, just click flash. This pop-up will show up. If you have anything important, back it up first before you do the downgrade. Since I have nothing important, I'll just flash the phone. This will take some time. When it reaches 60%, it will show an error. I'll show you guys what to do when that error shows up. All right, there we go. That is what it's supposed to do. So it shows an error, unable to restore device, this error code right here. That's the good part because you go right here. Well, if you're still connected and it shows this. Otherwise, if this doesn't show, what you can do is just unplug it and plug it back in. Just wait for a few seconds and there you go. It shows that the iDevice is in recovery mode. So just hit exit recovery mode. So just wait for it to restore. There you go, this is what you should see. So this iTunes screen with a USB cable right here. What we need to do next, which is we're going to bypass the setup screen. So first of all, make sure you have a SIM card. It doesn't really matter if it's active or no longer active. But as long as you have a SIM card that actually can work with this phone, you're good to go. So connect back to the computer. So what you need to do on 3 u is go to this part right here, activate and click activate now. So it will show this pop up. Make sure these two are checked, activation and skip setup and click start. So it will bypass the activation. So it says skip succeed, there we go. And you're done. So as you can see, this iPhone 3G is running iOS 3.1.3 right now because you can see the dock looks a bit different compared with iOS 4. So to prove you guys that this is running 3.1.3, I'll show you guys the about and yep, there you go, 3.1.3. So I would like to say a couple of things about 3 u If you have the settings, pretty much exit application when you close 3 u this will pop up that it says that it found an update whether you want to update it i would say just hit exit directly so pretty much you just maintain this version 2.56 so yeah just hit exit directly every time when you exit few tools just in case if you want to do the downgrade again otherwise if you're on the newer version of 3 tools you pretty much have to uninstall 3 tools and reinstall again but you have to use the installer from the google drive link so i hope this tutorial helps you a lot thanks for watching check out my other videos right here have fun with your iphone 3g on ios 3.1.3 and goodbye